Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Tuesday, June 14. I'm going to start on this intraday chart just looking at this particular move that's coming down through here and then we're going to, once we understand the um, the pathways for this uh, pattern, then we'll look at the bigger picture and, uh, and look at alternative patterns, okay? So really what I'm sort of looking for in the market uh, in the US indices and across most other indices is for this trend here to complete to finish off and we'll know when it's finished because we'll see a counter trend of an ABC rally here and the aim is to let's just assume for a moment that this is uh, correct uh, in this count then would be looking for an A wave A B wave and a C wave here to finish off <clears throat> and our just in very simple terms this will happen later in the week is probably Thursday that will give us this rally here so in a nutshell if the market's going to go down further we want to short it under the B wave here now we do plan to get better positions on that of course and we'll talk about that more so when we get over to the other side so two important things here is that this trend to the downside, we want it to land and coming into 13,000 is a nice strong uh, place for it to bounce at that point. Um, can it have a low in here already? Uh, possibly, um, but even so, we would still be looking for this rally. Uh, and at this stage, if we just take the top here, down to the bottom here that gives us our 61.8 percent roughly at that point there so we'll adjust that as going by so the important thing about this particular trend here is that um, we want it to finish off and land in line with all the other indices around the world and uh, some other markets too actually uh, so we'll let it land and then if we get an abc here which will be a 535 structure then we, as a safe trade, we'll look to short under the B wave. Now, there's other ways to get in uh, this and get better positions, but I won't talk about that at the moment. There is a possibility that the market can go up from that point. So that's why we need a safe trade here. Uh, if it is going to go down, it will come down reasonably quick and it would be longer than this particular move here or let's just say the same as that for the time being. So the short trade would be at this point. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. That's uh, what we're looking for on the uh, on the on the on the Nasdaq and the S and P as well. And we'll have a bit of a look at that in a moment, perhaps. Let's just go to the daily chart here and talk about the bigger picture here for a moment. So it's a, kind of interesting because this market has really got a pretty clear sort of A wave, B wave and C wave down here. Now, we can look at that as as wave A here. We could look at this as, um, you know, the end, we could look at this as an A, B, C here and we're done and finished and we could just move up from that point. But the markets are pretty bearish out there. So we need to, you know, consider other things. So there also appears to be five waves in this move here. So that means that if that's an A wave here, likely to be an A wave, because if it was wave one, wave two would be kind of much shorter than this, you know, less bulky in here in terms of ratios it would be swift and sharp and so on and, and then move up from that so it's likely to be an a wave so we can look at it as uh, as a um a b wave over here um but if we're going to look at it as an a wave over here this move up here it doesn't really give us a nice five wave structure it's really like a three wave structure so we can look at this as a corrective structure this is a corrective structure so we can look at this market if i can just use the stock 50 here as an example and you can see that here this looks like three waves up here nice little five waves here and five waves here so an abc here so looking at this as an a uh, an a wave here b wave here a c wave here with three waves in it and then a d and an e wave here for wave b and then up for wave c that's quite a, a reasonable possibility that we need to give consideration to that can occur for 
the DAX as well. Okay, so I'm aware of that. And what we're talking about also here is that this move down here being wave one coming back for wave two here and moving down further, which we're talking about on the DAX here. <clears throat> so down for one here, let this land and then come back for wave two and then down for three, four, five, coming down into the 50, 60% retracement level for this wave two at this point. So we do need to be a little bit mindful about what goes on in this um, in this uh, space uh, here. Uh, so we had a look at the intraday on that. So I don't need to do that at the moment. If we look at the U.S. markets here for a moment, there's a cup. There's a variety of things that can happen here as well. What we're looking for here is one, basically one and two here and three, four, five to finish off for either wave five and that's the end of it and that would help the triangle pattern of wave b for the in, for the european markets um or we need to look at this as wave one down here and then we've got back for wave two and then we'll have a strong wave three down and we'll need to look to uh short that so you know you can look at the us video for this setup on the short side here but in both cases here we need a safe short trade coming in through if, into this space so we need to move through this junction uh here with all of this there is a bigger bearish picture for the nasdaq but i won't go into that um at the moment for uh for this market we'll just keep it this um, also too just while we're here this market can do it's a little bit annoying, I know, but uh, we can either have a big bear market and we can wipe out that and go much further down. That's a possibility. Uh, and we talk about that in the video. Also here as well, if we look at the triangle pattern for the DAX, we could just end here and then go straight up. We could also have five waves down here to finish off. That would be from wave four to wave five. That makes sense. If we if we label the NASDAQ and the S&P not as an ABC pattern coming into play here, but a WXY, then we'd only have three waves down here, an A and a B and a C wave and finish here. So there's a lot to <clears throat> take on board. And I think that, well, well what I'm doing is just... Um, just going to weed through them all and look for safe trades uh, throughout all of this here. So anyway, I won't go into that uh, any further at this point. So uh, with the DAX here, we just discussed uh, this move down through here as being wave one or being part of a triangle pattern with coming and finishing at wave C here and, and reaching higher at that point. So you can imagine if we needed to short this down here, we would need to be very careful about that. So just coming back into this space here for a moment now that you know that, and just looking at, we'll just go to 2K ticks. We can go to 100, I think, as well, but this is fine. Um, so we're not that interested in doing anything today or tomorrow, but late fr Friday and Thursday will become quite interesting because this is where we'll look for the short trade here. Once we do have five waves up here and then we have an ABC correction in here, <coughs> that's where we'll be looking to short. Now, um, there's other things that we can do to to uh, to short and we'll talk about those in, in due course, this video goes out each day. So as we edge our way through this, and we also need to line up this with, um, you know, US stocks and uh, other, uh, the, the Euro, Euro US dollar and all, all of these things, they all need to sort of be pulled in together and uh, before we make our play in that. So you could imagine here also that, um, well, I won't go into the triangle pattern at the moment, but um, the short trade will come first before any long trade. Okay, so that's what we'll focus on. I won't make it any more complicated than it is. So for the next few days, we're just going to be bouncing around the bottom here. So um, yeah, just scalp really, you know. Um, so this little pattern here looks kind of corrective here for example so if i was going to it looks like impulsive if i was going to go long here then i would expect this distance here in this move to be the same over here and that means but i would also want to shore it up as well the 500 here five is the second strongest market uh, number i would want it as support and it's not support yet is it? it's still resistance it looks like this is all corrective overlapping wave structures in here so it looks like it wants to go up but it's actually not sitting on there as support or taking if it 
took out any of these highs here, that would be intriguing at that point, or sitting on here as support for that. Okay, so uh, you can do that, and uh, but we're still expecting another little move down for this as well. So it's very, you know, you, you have to be Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick, otherwise you'll, what's the names on the uh, candlestick? So, um, yeah, so that's that really. There's nothing really to more to sort of add without complicating it. So um, I'll just leave the stock 50 here, but the same thing applies as well. When we come down here, if, if from B to C here, normally in a C wave you'd get five waves, but in a triangle pattern you'd get three waves. So we only want an A and a B and a C to here. If we get five waves in here, that's going to rule that pattern out. And that's the same really on the DAX as well at that point. So uh, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of pressure to the downside. I mean, this has moved down quite quickly. Um, it can lure a lot of people in, but we're gonna wait for the rally anyway, and then we're gonna sort ourselves out for that. So we will be looking to short this as well. We'll be looking to do a variety of things in there. It's just not set up just yet for this. And the FTSE as well, if we're going to have five waves down, well then we'll look at, and I won't go to the intraday here just yet, once we start this rally later in the week, then we'll be all over this here. We want to be able to look for that. If there's going to be, if there's going to be a short trade down here, then we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll drill right into that wave two and we'll get that. So as an analyst, uh, it's hard, it's difficult, the markets are difficult because it's hard to be left-handed and right-handed, it's hard to be good at both of them, you know. So as, as, an, as an analyst, that's part of it because you're analysing the market, the other half is that you're a trader. So you really need to give clear definitions of what you're good at, you know. I might be a better trader than I am an analyst or, and, and that's what you need to work out as well. And once you work out that, then you know your strengths and your weaknesses and you need to make sort of clear what you're doing so for what I'm doing, I will, as an analyst, with my hat on as an analyst, I'll look at all the possible patterns and then I'll weed them out as we go. <clears throat> and then when it comes to trading, I'll take the analyst hat off and I'll put the trading hat on because I need to take those trade setups and I need to manage that risk at that point in time. So that's what you, that's what we'll need to do in this case. Now I'm going to leave this horizontal this this uh line in place here because if this comes back up here it's likely to to touch on this and then drop at that point and it might give us a nice sell uh signal at that point so also too with all of these markets it's possible for this to move up here and have this as wave one with an a wave a b wave and a c wave down here and move up from that point so i'm aware of that as well and um so yeah, anyway, like I said, we just need to allow this to land and let's see, once it lands, we'll have this wave two to work through and it should be pretty simple um, saying that it's always more complex than it is, but that's really what we're sort of looking at um, at this point. Uh, it's also a little bit like the, um, <clears throat> this is gonna be a little bit complicated as well. This is the mid cap uh, here, the, the 250. So. We could let's have a look at the bullish side and the bearish side, right? So, on the on the bullish side, we can look at this as the A wave, and then A B C here for the B wave, and then all the way down here for the C wave. Then we can look at this. Just copying this text here, we can look at this as wave one up here. Copy this, and we can look at this as wave two here with an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave coming into play here. So this is not finished yet. We we'll need five waves here of wave two here. So that that could be interesting, couldn't it? An A and a B and a C wave, then up for one, an A and a B and a C back here, and then pushing up again. Now, if that was the case, then what we would simply do here is look for the five waves here, that's okay. And then we would look for a classic trading levels pattern sitting on this level here. We would want to find a nice solid support um, on this level before going higher uh, here. I don't know what's happening to my mouse. I think it's been on the grog. Um, so anyway, we'd need a pattern like this back on the level here to go long at that point. <clears throat> okay, so that's how we'll handle that situation of being being long at that point. And <clears throat> Got it. <clears throat> and the bearish side opens up a bigger picture. It opens up wave one here and two here, 
and then wave one here and two here and then down for one here and back for two here and then down for one again here so any rally in here we're going to look to be on the short side over here again for this so once this five wave finishes here we'll be looking for an a wave a b wave and a c wave here I don't know what's happened to the mouth. But anyway, we'll be looking to go short under here. So we're looking at both opportunities here for all of this. Because it, it, it could be it could be in both both cases. It could be, you know, it could be a bigger bearish picture opening, which we have on the US market. So on the NASDAQ, we and the S&P, we've got one and two and one and two here. And then looking down uh, into this here. So slightly different for this one. But um, yeah, a bigger bearish picture here could open up. So we'll need to be all over it at this point as well. But in the meantime, we just want to uh, allow this to come down and it'll all be about that move back up and looking forward at that point. So I think that that's sort of uh, interesting at that point. So yeah, anyway, so we're not gonna do anything until we get to wave two there. Okay, so it's over onto the, uh, to the FX market and this is a daily chart for the US dollar index here. We'd been looking up as one and two here and then one and two, one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, the fourth wave, and then one and two and three and four and five. The wave five here is a little bit long, so that's sort of, I'm wondering about that. I'm just gonna stay with this for the moment though because as wave three up here, we're looking for an a wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. The B wave can go above the top here. It just means we'll have an expanded flat. So I'll just allow it to go a little bit further. And then we'll just look at the pattern. So um, if those other markets are going to be, you know, coming back and rallying back uh, shortly, then we'll see that over here. So we'll still need to see this move and that move there before we get the B wave in and, and then we'll see if we get the C wave in at that point. It's either we're going to do this or, and it won't matter too much, I'll be able to pick it up over here and we can go along again. Otherwise, I'll need to look at this as one and two and one and two in here rather than one, two, three, four. And then look at this as a third wave here and from that low to that high there, it has pulled back 50% rather than 40%, but not a big deal because big numbers really pull the market to them. So we'll need to see how this sort of plays out at this point. The euro will be the same in the opposite. So we just need to allow the euro to finish off uh, here with its um, with its move as well. Uh, the same thing here. So we were looking, this is a daily chart. We we're looking for the A wave here, the B wave here, and then the C wave coming in to play here for this. So let's see if we get that and then we'll get the the move down at that point otherwise um i could bring wave four in here but i probably won't do do that um uh yeah there's another thing that i could do with that so which where were we here on the 2k let's just go in and have a closer look at that <clears throat> so the markets have been stretched a little bit but let's just see what we've got and what we can do here so 10k enough 10k is too much so we were looking for wave three here with an a wave looking for a b wave to pull back and then the c wave up here this is why the euro dax can follow back up here in that sort of triangle pattern it looked quite sort of good at that point and once wave four is in then that would move down and that would be the b wave on well, i'll just just bring this across here that would just stop you so the um, euro going euro US dollar going up and creating the B wave top here would probably need to bring that back down here and probably bring it back down even lower in here for this. But uh, once that B wave is in, then we would come down at this point here for this, you know, bringing the euro US dollar down in this in this space over here after it's completed this move here. So it'll be interesting to see sort of how this plays out. So. I think I'm kind of okay with this. I mean, it's come down a fair bit here, but you know, like I said, the um, all the markets have been stretched in this little move to the downside. So we need to take that on board. But anyway, we've got a nice A wave here, then an A, it's corrective. So that helps it a lot. And then the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here for the B wave, and then one and two and three and four and five. So we're 
pretty much at a low here at the moment with this so we could that's why the uh, other the DAXs can the DAX and the stock 50 could rally rather than a wave four could rally up at that point so that looks like one and two and three here for that that looks sort of okay this probably needs a bit of work um Yeah, we could have a bit more low here, but like I said, I'm not that I'm not that fussed about it. We'll if we're going to trade this long up here, we'll look for, we'll need a nice impulse wave here, and not a corrective wave, and then we can look to to have a, an A and a B and a C, and we can go long from that point. Uh, that, but anyway, this will land the same time as indices, so I think there's still another bit more low to go in here. But it it is coming low down here. That's why I'm looking at different possible counts. But anyway, I'll give it a bit of space and. You know, it does have a nice A wave, a B wave here, and the C wave here. It's all good. You know what I mean? It's not. Otherwise, it's hard to justify that because it can't put, can't put the C wave here and this B wave over here. That just doesn't really make sense at that point. You know, so I think that we're sort of on the right track rather than doing something else at this stage. I think we just need to, um, just have a little bit of patience and work through this. Alrighty, I'll leave it all at that for the time being. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.